When I inject a gram of testosterone, I'm not like, oh, Andrew, I'm so glad this gram of testosterone is binding with my intestines and prostate. Like, this is what you're trying to avoid the whole time. This is why people build pyramid cycles where the dirty compound test is just to, you know, maintain, you know, your base level hormone level. And then you add a more selective or a more powerful compound on top in a lower dosage to stop the extreme amount of prostate and intestine binding. <laughs> What is up everyone it's Reese. i hope everyone is doing well today's this more sip is 1907 check out 1907wire.com keep on code russo asmr spritz here's your spritz noises intelligent elephant carbon code russo want the pimp jacket links in the description below for discounts to save today i'm going to be doing a simple topic video on prostate health and large prostate and sarms SARMs were developed to be selective towards skeletal muscle and bone and not really target the prostate, the organs, nearly as much as testosterone. This is why testosterone is referred to as a dirty compound. And yes, testosterone is highly effective, especially if you blast a gram plus. It works, tried and true, but that's binding with your organs. It's binding with the prostate primarily, which is the concern growing the prostate. And you might not notice these issues for the first two decades of your life, but you know, later in life, you might regret doing such high dosage testosterone cycles. What we've seen with SARMs is they are very selective, as I said earlier, and you could modulate your TRT protocol to reduce the testosterone dosage and add in a SARM, thus resulting in probably better binding affinity to the AR and the skeletal muscle, better bone density from the SARMs binding to the skeletal muscle, overall better cognitive mood enhancement, and you're shrinking the prostate because the SARMs aren't targeting the prostate in the efficacious dosages found in the studies. I'm talking about if you're actually doing an HRT long-term protocol, I'm not talking about taking 10 to fucking 50 milligrams of LGD to put on some size. I'm talking like one to five milligrams of Austrian, under 25 S4. You know, these dosages are very selective towards skeletal muscle and bone. And if you have an enlarged prostate, I'd be interested to see this experiment done. I remember the King of Macedonia, Alec, noted that he, I think he had a client that shrunk his prostate on S4 only, if not someone DM me who shrunk their prostate on S4 only and basically lowered his test testosterone dosage he was having prostate issues right his PSA was not looking good and he lowered his dosage of testosterone replaced the androgen level with the S4 which again is not converting to dihydrotestosterone and is not converting to estrogen so he's not getting E2 conversion he's not getting DHT conversion and what he saw was his prostate shrank he felt just as good if not better now do I recommend S4 no S4 is like one of those sketchy ones where it's binding to the receptors in the eyes. And it's just like, probably would pick something more like ACP 105 or Austrian in extremely low dosage. He didn't have to do anything crazy. He didn't have to do the traditional, you know, 5AR blocking methods. He just simply lowered the testosterone dosage, replaced the androgen, still overall had a very androgenic anabolic effect. He didn't reduce that down and he shrunk the prostate. He liked the cycle better than just the higher TRT and it's probably more selective towards the skeletal muscle and bone which that's what counts the most right no one cares like like when I inject a gram of testosterone I'm not like oh Andrew I'm so glad this gram of testosterone is binding with my intestines and prostate like this is what you're trying to avoid the whole time this is why people build pyramid cycles where the dirty compound test is just to you know maintain you know your base level hormone level and then you add a more selective or a more powerful compound on top in a lower dosage to stop the extreme amount of prostate and intestine binding. I just wanted to paint the picture that this could be used to manage prostate in a method of why SARMs were actually developed. This is the whole point. They are selective right this is the whole point is testosterone is not selective and if we had more people willing to experiment around that are on trt hrt have no aspirations of bodybuilding have no aspirations of bodybuilding at all they don't care about getting big they just care about their blood work looking immaculate then i would be interested to see if they lowered the test dose add in a 
a minuscule amount of SARM is efficacious in the studies if they notice their PSA go down. And that's why I really like the seed. This is a whole new way to modulate the prostate growth and or shrink it back down. So I hope you guys found this informative. Like the video. I'll see you guys in my next one.